Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another review for you guys on the first episode of Ash vs. Evil Dead. And I have to say right off the bat, non-spoiler section, okay? I'm gonna do a non-spoiler section, then a spoiler section, okay? Absolutely loved it. Thought it was great, thought it was hilarious, thought it was a bit scary, got a little bit scared, and uh, I just thought it was awesome all the way around in every which way. Happy Halloween, by the way. Got the mohawk thrown up over here just for fun. I don't know. Just wanted to do it. It's Halloween. And I got my little foam uh, chainsaw right here that I got from Comic-Con. Thanks for Dean for helping me get this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so non-spoilers. Thought it was awesome. Uh, one thing I will say is it's not necessarily for the kids. So that's something that you don't really want to bring your kids to watch unless you've already exposed them to it. But actually, I think it gets a little aside from... It's like Evil Dead 1 kind of uh, rated R. Okay, think of the tree and the branches. Yeah, it's gonna get though you don't see that again, it's like on that kind of level. Um, and then uh, the gore is great, I thought it was hilarious. If uh, this is all directed by Sam Raimi, who's the original creator director of the Evil Dead franchise, so I don't see how he could have gone wrong. Uh, I just thought it was just well done in every aspect, just totally happy with it. Now, for the spoiler section of this video. I'm going to talk about um, just a couple of scenes that I thought were incredible. I'm not going to talk about everything over here. But I, if you did see the episode, I'd like you to comment with your favorite parts of the episode. Uh, one of my favorite scenes was early on in the episode uh, where uh, he ends up, uh, you know, uh, feeding that girl, uh, you know, a little something, something. Uh, he gives her uh, his boomstick, you might want to say, in the woman's bathroom. Which I thought was, which I thought was great, man. I was like, "Wow, dude, he just—he's going to town." I mean, there's nalgas showing and everything. I'm like, okay, didn't expect us to go there, but hey, I'm not complaining at all whatsoever, man. Um, but for real, uh, my—I have to say, my actual favorite scene, that the part that I really liked the most, was early on when uh, the two cops go into that house, and uh, and that one girl, the the. The white girl does a. She gets possessed by the deadite, and now we saw this at midnight last night. So there's like a lot of details I may not remember because I pretty much fell asleep like right after. But like she does a whole like exorcist thing, except she does it manually. So she turns her whole head around, and then her limbs all turn around, and then she starts walking towards the uh, you know the chick and everything. I thought that was freaky as hell. I love that. They did this whole thing where they like cut some of the frames so it looked like it was stop animation, kind of. I just thought it looked so cool. I love the Deadites throughout the whole show. Like, actually, I feel like this was a movie. I think it was a, a 45 minute episode, something like that. And it felt like it was a movie. It really did. It was just so complete. It had so many homages to the Evil Dead franchise, but it wasn't like a total fan service kind of thing. It was just like, just little things here and there. Like, for instance, um, you know, like how I mentioned those two cops, like one of the cops uh, ends up getting impaled and dies and then turns into it and then all of a sudden his corpse disappears so that now you know he's possessed by the deadite. And then, uh, and then, and then he does, the, they do the whole thing where all of a sudden he goes from deadite to being who he was when he was alive and because it's the cop's partner and it's all pleading and stuff, you know, and then, and then he goes back to being the deadite again. And the, the, the way he shot that light coming in and out, oh my god, Sam Raimi, you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing, man, I thought it was so cool, I, it was so creepy, I was just, I don't know, I was just waiting for his face to be like right in front of her face or something, but yeah, that whole thing, I'm like, we want you to die, uh, I thought that was awesome as hell, um, I, I, there's, oh, the, the whole thing with the curtain, uh, with the, with the old, with the granny, Deadite uh, in the backyard and stuff. I thought that was great. The fight sequences were awesome. I loved seeing Ash get the chain. I mean, we see him get the chainsaw back in the trailer, so that's not a huge surprise or anything. That whole thing was kind of spoiled in the trailer, but you're going to watch an Ash vs. Evil Dead show. You know he's going to get the chainsaw. You know it's going to happen. They have to sell the show. I don't blame them for showing that stuff off at all. Um, but, yeah, so like I said, spoilers. All that really happens towards the end of the episode. So you really see him getting to full gear, and then I like how they play the character too, where he doesn't want to, uh, he, he doesn't want to help anybody, you know. So the character's consistent. He kind of goes back to how he was in Army of Darkness. He's like, oh, I care about is getting back home, you know. That's kind of like he has the same attitude here. He's like, I'm done with this. I don't want to help anybody. 
I also love the fact how they brought the Evil Dead back. He's getting ripped and, and he starts gets he basically gets so hammered, so messed up that he starts reading he has this chick over and he starts reading out of the Necronomicon. Like it's so stupid. I just thought it was great. The, the whole thing was hilarious. I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it already, go watch it. It was on Stars at Midnight. I think they're playing it again. They should be playing it just like non-stop all day. Uh, that I think they should do. They should do that. But anyway, I thought it was incredible. Bruce Campbell nailed it. Oh, another one of my favorite parts that I just want to mention really quick is uh, the whole little doll, the little Deadite doll thing and grabbing on his mouth and the whole homage to like, you know, the you know, the little My Fair Lady clone thingies. Um, that was awesome. Having him fight a miniature, like, you know, entity was just so cool. Because uh, he does this whole thing where he's grabbing empty clay pots and he's smashing, and the doll's biting his mouth, is on his face, so he's smashing the, the clay pots on his own face. <laughs> and I, I just thought that was hilarious. Uh, the, they just, 10 out of 10 for me. I don't know what else to say. 10 out of 10. Absolutely loved it. I uh, hope you guys have a happy Halloween. I should be posting up a review, uh, another review later today. And I'll catch you guys later. Boo!